Here's the worst part about running your detailing business is that one day everything is fine, everything is great, right? You booked in a 200, 600 or 1400 dollar job and you're thinking to yourself, man, everything is going so good right now. Life is good, business is good, I'm doing the right things. Like we are growing the business. And then literally maybe the next day something happens and everything turns upside down. And then you're saying, oh, things are going so bad, life is so bad, business is bad right now things are just going in my favor. This is the reality of running your own business. The highs will be highs and the lows will be lows. And if you are just starting your business, you can click the link down below to download the ultimate guide to start your detailing business. There's literally over 10,000 words of pure content in that guide to help you out. I mean, I remember the stressful days of not getting customers, not making money, and just hoping someone would call me so I can book them in the calendar. You have to realize that running your own business is a long-term game. As hard as you work, as, as much time that you put into it on a daily basis, it's still going to take time to get experience and to really get the ball rolling. Like nothing will happen overnight. No matter what you see on Instagram or YouTube from other detailers making a thousand dollars a day or they booked in this crazy vehicle, like everyone is going to take a different path and each path will either be longer or shorter but if you're looking at things like if you, if you want to run your business for the next 10 years right you can't get stuck on the first six months or, or a six month period and say oh no my business is failing like i just can't do it i'm not fit for it like if you want to run this business for 10 years well it's gonna take a while for you to really to, to, to get to that level to have a consistent flow of customers and to really have you know, a booked out schedule where you can do this full time. And that's why I continually say like, what kind of business do you wanna run? Right, like what is your goal? What kind of customers do you want? What, you know, how much do you want to charge per service? What kind of services do you want to offer? Do you actually want to go full time? Do you want to keep this full uh, part time? Do you just want to work out of your home? Like, what is it that you want to do? Because that will greatly dictate just about everything you do in your business, right? Someone that wants to go and make $30,000 a month is gonna be completely different than someone that wants to keep this part-time and make $3,000 a month, right? Those two things will lead to two completely different paths. By the way, since I have this vehicle behind me, check out this Chevy Blazer. Now, it looks fantastic, like it looks really good right now, but this vehicle came in in such a bad condition. I'll show some clips right here, but the customer just recently purchased this vehicle. It has under 2,000 miles and that paintwork was absolutely trash. You can tell that whoever did it on the vehicle, they took a rotary and they just went to town. There were a ton of holograms. There's a ton of scratches. Um, there's actual like uh, rids, uh, random isolated deep scratches across the vehicle. There was compound all across the crevices, on the plastic pieces. Like for a vehicle with less than 2,000 miles, this thing was absolutely beat up. We are done with the correction. We just have to do a little bit of polishing and then apply the ceramic coating. But this thing is looking fantastic. Uh, on this vehicle, we're charging $1,200. We underquoted a little bit for the amount of work we did because we also took off the, uh, the emblems right here, which that took maybe 10 minutes. Um, but we really turned this vehicle around. I wish I would've got more YouTube footage, but you have to remember, like I, I get a lot of the footage as well. So if they're detailing, I still have to do office work. So I'm literally running back and forth between the, the warehouse and the office. And because I have limited time, like it's either one or the other. Like either I'm just gonna get like vertical content or I'm just gonna get YouTube content. So on this one, I don't really have YouTube content, it's all just vertical, so sorry about that. But man, like this was a huge turnaround on this vehicle. And the same thing happened last week when we had a customer drop off two of their vehicles, a Toyota Tundra that was heavily filled with water spots across the entire vehicle. And then their Lexus 460 that like literally just came from the dealership. So it was like brand spanking new. But with those two vehicles, they paid $2,600 for a correction and coating. And the same thing, they were the easiest people to work with like they understood the process they really trusted us and and what we were gonna do and they were happy with the results like that's the kind of business that we want to run and if that's the kind of customers we want to attract that are are willing and able and happy to spend twelve hundred sixteen hundred a thousand fourteen hundred 
dollars on their vehicles well that's how that's going to kind of dictate how you communicate what you how you market how you you know uh what the, the photos you, you share the the website how it's set up and that face value it sounds awesome right wow this customer is 1200 that customer spent 2600 but as good as those days are you'll equally have bad days one where you're not really making any money or the weather gets in your way or the customer is kind of a pain to work with or something happens where things aren't going well things are tough you're like oh, i just want this day to be over oh, i just can't wait to to forget about this and, and move on to next week like you'll equally have bad days to go through and if you really want to run your business you really want your own business you want your own lifestyle your own whatever it may be it's like you have to endure the tough times, the pain to get to where you want to. But even when you get to that point, even when you say, oh, I have a shop and I have correction and coatings coming in, you will, still de you will still deal with problems. Problems never go away. You just have a different set of problems. And that's one thing you really have to understand that you'll always have problems. Right, it's just the problems change based on where you are in your business. Meaning, you might think, oh well, once my schedule's booked out, once once I'm doing correction and codings, like oh, like I, I'm I'll be happy when I get there. But then you get to that point, and it's a new set of problems, right? You got to look for a shop, or you, or you pay rent, or you know the vehicle is gonna take three days instead of the one that you thought was gonna happen, or you know like it, it just problems are like the fundamental layer of running a business and you as a business owner your main job is to solve those problems every single day by the way check out these new shirts that are launching with the products this month it's the detailers club shirt a lot of people have been asking about these so these the detail groove shirt with the black and white um the progress over protection shirts all those will launch this month as well as the limited products that we have so whether you're having a good day or a bad day you have to be consistent and show up every day you're gonna have some bad times you're gonna have some great times but you stay disciplined you stay on the path on your journey and you just keep on solving problems day after day month after month and i kid you not six months down the road nine months down the road you're gonna look back and you're gonna be like wow we've actually made a lot of progress that's gonna wrap up this video hopefully you learned something i'll talk to you on the next one